Yeah, I know this is the fair part, but I fucked up and went over the time on it. Don't worry at the end, I'll do something different, you know, I'll give you recommendations. In fact, I'll do that as a separate video. But yeah, it's basically telling people, your culture has to adhere to our culture. Be like our culture. This is bullshit. We wouldn't accept it if people in Japan and China told us this. So why should we? Ex so why should people from Japan and China accept it when they're being told this from people by the, from people from the fucking West? If we wouldn't accept them censoring our content and our media, why should they have to accept us censoring theirs? And as fans of this stuff, I have been an anime fan since the age of nine. I have been a manga fan since the age of 16 and a Japanese games fan since 2013. And I like these things because they are from a culture that is different from mine in so many ways but yet has similar points as well. But it's the strange points that I like those little things that you'll come across even if you've been watching this stuff for as long as I have to the point where you can't remember each and every series you have watched where you will start watching something someone has recommended and then realise you've already watched it before but a long long time ago and this idea that these things should change so that they will better suit the sensibilities of where they are going. No. That is basically a form of colonialism and racism. It basically says that your culture is not good enough for our people to understand so you must change it to be more like their culture. Because they're just too stupid. To realise that other people's cultures may differ from theirs. And this irritates me to no end. These people will try and convince you that the reason this thing has been changed, the reason it's been censored, is for your own good. No it's fucking not. It's because you're worried that one of your friends might have their echo little feelings hurt. And this is offensive. There's something that I enjoy, I love, and that millions of other people do has been censored to, you know, save the feelings of maybe, say, a hundred thousand butthurt tumblerinas who would probably never buy this stuff in the first place. The type of people who cry for censorship of stuff like anime, manga, video games and aspects of Japanese culture are not the type of people who will give you fucking money for these aspects of these cultures. Hell, a perfect example is DOA Extreme Free. Sure, some of these people have now bought copies of the game, but it's simply so they can complain about it some more. In fact, you know what I would find truly hilarious? If some little white knight had went out, ordered the game from say PlayAsia or created a Japanese or Hong Kong PSN account and bought the game and has now completely flipped the money uh, and has basically told Feminism and SJWs to go fuck themselves because he's found something he enjoys. Don't get me wrong, I downloaded the free version of the game from the Hong Kong store and I I've played it a little but I think I'll wait and just buy the full retail version because it's like the last round free version, it's not all that much. It's free, what did I expect? But this idea that, si that localization gives you the right to censor and cut certain things from games, movies, anime and video games is bullshit. Good localization means taking the original IDR and translating it to English and changing small things that wouldn't be understood in the West. Small things. The odd line 
or phrase. That's it. That's good localization. Companies who do good localization in the largest amount of times Crunchyroll, Funimation, and Sentai. Again, most of the time. Now the next one is of course the shit flinging monkeys. See Nintendo for this. Localization is a good thing when it's done right. It makes these things easier to understand for people in the West, mainly through subtitles or dubs. If you take away parts of a series, Take away parts that nobody will actually miss and that aren't relevant to the plot or the characters. In games, take out excess dialogue that had no original purpose. It's fine. Taking out a completely useless mechanic, again, is fine. Taking out dialogue that had an original purpose, whether it just simply be a skip between two characters, a really badly timed joke, it's not fine. Taking out a game mechanic that serves a purpose, and a good one at that, again, is not fine. These things are called censorship because in most cases they aren't taken out because, uh, well, it would be hard for a Western audience to understand, they're taken out because somebody might take offence. Like I've said, Japanese and Western culture is different, but not nearly as different as these people like to believe. There's a lot in Japanese culture I can understand. And there's a lot in my culture that Japanese people could probably understand. There are certain things in Japan's culture I don't understand. Just like there'd be certain things in Scottish culture that Japanese people wouldn't understand. Does it mean we shouldn't be exposed to these things? No. We should so we can eventually build up an understanding of these things. Localization is a good thing when it doesn't involve mass censorship of things because people may, again let me preference this, may take offense. May. Things shouldn't be cut out and hacked out of games because somebody might take offense. This is ridiculous. So yeah, that's my rant done. Localization is fine. Censorship, doesn't matter what you call it by, is censorship. Changing something because somebody may be offended is censorship. Changing it because you believe somebody might not understand its context is censorship. It's basically taking the rights away of free choice and agency from these people. I should have the ability to make a choice to try and understand something before you censor it. I should have the ability to try and understand why something is there. So yeah. Localize things. But by localize, do the yes sensei version, which is take the original idea, translate to English, you can remove stuff, but it's lines of dialogue and vid in terms of video games, it's line lines of dialogue that are useless. Game mechanics that are useless, these are fine to get rid of. Lines of dialogue that make sense and are of great use? No. Game mechanics that again are of use? No. In terms of anime? Sure, you can change lines for certain scenes to make it fit English better. Or, in the case of ghost stories, to make it funnier. But you cannot add lines of dialogue simply because you think it will sound cooler than the original. See a Kami Kill for a perfect example. You cannot remove certain themes from an entire show simply because it might offend somebody. This is one of the reasons that a series like Kiss Sis and Oremi would never make it to the West. So yeah. And sorry for no review this week, but I'm going to post a video tomorrow with basically recommendations for this season and overall recommendations of anime I think you should watch. Either because they're good or because they'll give you a basic understanding of this culture in general.
So yeah, thanks for listening guys, and I'm sorry these videos were so long, but this really pisses me off. Okay.